It's a great day here in the paint department. Today we're going to look at two of the eight techniques available for faux finishing in the Martha Paint Finish Toolkit. The two we'll look at are gingham and a wood grain look called faux bois. To start your process, apply an even coat of glaze over an existing finish. You can do this over a satin or semi-gloss finish. It can be a factory finish. You may want to clean the surface if you do it over a factory finish first. Something like Cred Cutter, an everyday cleaner, will do the job. Just wipe the surface down and then apply your first coat of glaze. Allow that material to set for somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes and then you're going to pull that product off using the, the gingham tool which will create your vertical stripe. Keep some terry tiles handy because you're going to have to wipe this off after every pass. Allow this product to cure for another 8 to 10 minutes and once it's dry you'll apply a second coat and cross grain it in the opposite direction. The other piece we want to demo today is the faux bois. It's essentially a wood grain look that you create using a base coat, a faux glaze, and this faux bois tool. To create this look, you lay down your layer of glaze and you start at the top and you simply pull the faux bois tool and rotate your hand as you go down the board. Keep a terry towel on hand because you will need to wipe your tool off on a regular basis and then you're going to make another pass and you'll come up with a very unique pattern that'll look really nice on your piece. So whether you want to create the faux bois wood grain look with Martha's faux bois tool or whether you want to create gingham with the gingham tool the process is relatively simple. You start with the base coat, roll on an even coat of glaze, provide the treatment and allow it to dry. In the case of gingham, you treat the first coat, allow it to dry and follow the exact same process but in the reverse direction. I'm Pat and Payne, I hope this helps. Thank you for visiting our online community today.